hello everyone welcome back this video shows you how to crochet a flower bag the materials required for the project are four ply acrylic yarn 150 grams four mm crochet hook stitch marker scissors and a blunt needle let's begin our project by making a magic circle after completing the magic circle work a chain 2 after working chain 2 into the magic circle we are going to work 12 double crochet so yarn over insert into the magic circle grab the yarn pull up a loop come out of 2 loops again come out of 2 loops place marker in top of the first double crochet after placing the marker work 11 more double crochets into the magic circle Now we have completed working our 12 double crochets counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now pull the tail end to close the magic circle. So in this project we are going to slip stitch in the front loop. So in a chain there will be a back loop and a front loop. In a back loop we are going to place the marker and into the front loop we are going to slip stitch. So watch carefully into the front loop we are going to slip stitch. After slip stitching in this round we are going to work into the front loop. So for the round one begin with the chain 2 and into the same loop we are going to work 1 double crochet. After completing the double crochet we are going to work in the next loop. So into the next front loop we are going to work 1 double crochet. Chain 2 and a slip stitch. So into the same loop we are working 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. So this will be our first petal. For the next petal we are going to work into the next front loop. So work a slip stitch, chain 2 and 1 double crochet. So into the same loop we are working 1 slip stitch, chain 2 and 1 double crochet. After completing this into the next friend loop we are going to work 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. So in the same loop we worked 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. This will be our second petal. For the next petal we are going to work into the next friend loop work a slip stitch chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the same front loop. After completing this into the next loop we are going to work 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. So into the same front loop we worked 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. Continue the same pattern and work 3 more petals I will be meeting you in the end of the round 1. Now we are in the end of a round 1. There will be 6 petals in the end of the round 1. Already we have placed the marker into the back loop. So we are going to slip stitch into the back loop. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After slip stitching we are going to work into the back loop. So begin with the chain 2. Chain 2 on consider as our double crochet. So in this round we are going to increase. Now work 1 double crochet into the same loop. And the second double crochet into the same loop. So like this in this round we are going to work 2 double crochet in each and every loop. Place marker in top of the first double crochet. After placing marker into the next back loop. 
of 2 double crochet so this will be our first double crochet and the second double crochet so we work 2 double crochet into the same stitch into the next back loop we are going to work 1 double crochet and into the same loop we are working the second double crochet so in this round work 2 double crochet in the remaining stitches in the end of the round 1 of back loop we have 24 double crochets now we are going to slip stitch so remove the marker and place the marker in the back loop and we are going to work a slip stitch in front loop so now slip stitch in the front loop after slip stitching begin with a chain 2 in this round we are working in the front loop so in the same loop we are again working one double crochet and into the next front loop work one double crochet and into the next loop that is the front loop we are going to work one double crochet chain 2 and a slip stitch so into the same loop we worked one double crochet chain 2 and a slip stitch so this will be our first petal of this round for the petal 2 to 8 we are working the same pattern so watch carefully begin with the slip stitch and work a chain 2 and into the same friend loop we are working one double crochet and into the next friend loop we are working one double crochet and into the next friend loop we are working one double crochet chain 2 and a slip stitch so this will be our second petal so this is the pattern you are going to repeat for the next petal begin with the slip stitch and work a chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the same friend loop now into the next friend loop we are working 1 double crochet and into the next friend loop we are working 1 double crochet chain 2 and a slip stitch so this will be our third petal repeat the same pattern for the next four petals I will be meeting you in the end of the round 2 of the friend loop. Now we are in the end of the round 2 of the friend loop. There will be 8 petals. Now we are going to slip stitch. So remove the marker and we are going to slip stitch in the back loop. After slip stitching in this round we are going to work into the back loop so begin with a chain 2 into the same back loop we are going to work one double crochet now place marker in top of the first double crochet into the next stitch that is the second stitch we are going to work an increase so work two double crochet increase in this round in the back loop into the every second stitch we are going to increase Again into the next stitch work 1 double crochet. Into the next back loop we are going to work an increase. So work 2 double crochets. Repeat the same pattern 1 double crochet, 2 double crochet increase for 4 more times. Pause the video and continue to work. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 2 of back loop. Now we have completed our round 2 of back loop. We have 36 double crochets. Remove the marker and now we are going to place the marker in the back loop and we are going to slip stitch in the friend loop. After slip stitching for the round 3 we are going to work into the friend loop. So begin with the chain 2 and into the same friend loop we are going to work 1 double crochet. And into the next friend loop work 1 double crochet. And again into the next friend loop work 1 double crochet. Again into the next friend loop we are going to work 1 double crochet. 
chain 2 and a slip stitch now we have completed our first petal from the next petal we are continuing the same pattern so slip stitch in the next front loop after slip stitching work a chain 2 and into the same chain space work 1 double crochet so into the same chain space we are working 1 double crochet into the next friend loop we are going to work 1 double crochet and into the next friend loop we are going to work 1 double crochet and into the next friend loop we are going to work 1 double crochet chain 2 after working chain 2 slip stitch in the same loop so this will be our second petal we are going to repeat the same pattern throughout the round pause the video and continue the same pattern from the petal 2 i will be meeting you in the end of the round 3 now we are in the end of a round 3 there will be 9 petals so here we are going to slip stitch in the back loop so remove the marker and work a slip stitch After slip stitching, we are going to work into the back loop in this round. So begin with a chain 2 and work 1 double crochet into the back loop of same space. And place marker in top of the double crochet. In this round, we will be increasing in the third stitch. So into the next stitch, we are going to work 1 double crochet. And into the third stitch we are going to work and increase so two double crochet increase this will be our first double crochet and into the same back loop we are going to work one more double crochet here the chain 2 on consider as our double crochet so one double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet increase from the next loop we are going to work one double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet increase in the third loop so first double crochet increase and into the same back loop we are working the second double crochet increase so repeat the pattern for four more times 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet, 2 double crochet increase. So one more time we are going to work 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet and into the third stitch we are going to work and increase. So 2 double crochet increase. The first double crochet increase into the same back loop we are working the second double crochet increase. So we are going to repeat for 3 more times. So repeat the same pattern throughout the round. Now we are in the end of the round 3 for the back loop. There will be 46 double crochets. Now we are going to slip stitch. So remove the marker and place in the back loop. And we are going to slip stitch in the front loop. After slip stitching, we are going to work into the friend loop in this round. So for the round 4, we are begin with a chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same loop. And into the next friend loop, we are going to increase. So work 2 double crochet increase. So this will be our first double crochet. And into the same loop, we are working the second double crochet. So we have completed the 2 double crochet into the same loop. Again we are going to work 2 double crochet increase into the next friend loop. So first double crochet increase and into the same loop we are working the second double crochet increase. So into the next loop we are going to work 1 double crochet. Chain 2. 
and a slip stitch so into the same loop we worked one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch so this will be our first petal of this round so from the next petal we will be working the same pattern so slip stitch into the next front loop work a chain two and one double crochet into the same loop into the next loop we will be working two double crochet increase so into the next front loop we are working the first double crochet increase and into the same loop we are working the second double crochet increase again into the next loop we are working the first double crochet increase and into the same loop we are working the second double crochet increase so again into the next front loop we are working one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch so now we have completed our petal two like this repeat the same pattern from the next petal so slip stitch chain two and a double crochet and into the next loop or two double crochet increase again into the next front loop or two double crochet again into the next front loop or one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch in this round there will be 12 petals so repeat the same pattern throughout the round pass the video continue to work the same pattern now we are in the end of the round 4 there will be 12 petals in this round now we are going to slip stitch in the back loop so remove the marker and work a slip stitch After slip stitching we are going to work into the back loop so begin with a chain 2 and one double crochet in same back loop After completing place marker in top of the double crochet chain 2 own consider as our first double crochet and into the next chain we are going to work one double crochet and into the next back loop we are going to work one double crochet and into the next loop we are going to work an increase so in this round we are going to increase in the fourth stitch so work two double crochet increase into the fourth stitch so first double crochet increase and into the same loop we will be working the second double crochet increase So 1, 1, 1, 2. Into the fourth stitch we are going to work an increase. So into the next back loop we are going to work one double crochet. Again into the next loop we are going to work one double crochet. Again into the next back loop we are going to work one double crochet. So now we have completed three double crochets into the next stitch that is the fourth stitch we are going to work an increase so this will be our first double crochet increase and into the same loop we are going to work the second double crochet increase so continue the same pattern throughout the round one double crochet for three times and in the fourth stitch work two double crochet increase so pause the video and continue working i will be meeting you in the end of the round four Now we are in the end of a round 4 for the back loop. Now we are going to remove the marker. There will be 60 double crochets. We are going to place the marker in the back loop and we are going to slip stitch in the front loop. After placing the marker, slip stitch in the front loop. Now we are going to work for the round 5. 
so in this round we will be working in the front loop so begin with a chain 2 and one double crochet into the same loop after working one double crochet into the next loop we are going to work one double crochet into the next loop we are going to work an increase so work two double crochet increase this will be our first double crochet and into the same loop we are going to work one more double crochet so two double crochet increase into the next friend loop we are going to work one double crochet and into the next loop we are going to work one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch so one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch this will be our first petal so chain two one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet increase one double crochet one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch from the next petal we are going to repeat the same pattern into the next friend loop work a slip stitch after slip stitching continue with the chain two and one double crochet into the same friend loop into the next friend loop work one double crochet And into the next loop we are going to work an increase so work two double crochet increase this will be our first double crochet and into the same loop we are working the second double crochet again into the next loop work one double crochet into the next friend loop we are going to work one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch so we have completed one double crochet chain two and work a slip stitch so this will be our second petal this is the pattern we are going to repeat throughout the round so into the next friend loop we are going to work a slip stitch chain two and one double crochet in same friend loop and into the next loop we are going to work one double crochet and into the next loop we are going to work two double crochet increase and into the next loop we are going to work one double crochet and again in, into the next friend loop we are going to work one double crochet chain two and a slip stitch So repeat the pattern throughout the round. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we have completed our round 5. There will be 12 petals in this round. After completing the petal, we are going to slip stitch in the back loop. So remove the marker and work a slip stitch. So here we are going to work into the back loop. So for the round 5 for the back loop, we are going to begin with the chain 2 and one double crochet into the same loop after completing the double crochet we are going to place marker in top of the double crochet in this round we are going to increase in every fifth stitch so we are going to work one double crochet for three times so into the first loop we are going to work one double crochet in next loop again we are going to work one double crochet Again into the next loop we are going to work one double crochet. So here we have completed working our one double crochet for three times. Into the next back loop we are going to work two double crochet increase. So into the next back loop we are working the first double crochet increase. And into the same loop we are going to work the second double crochet increase. So in this round we are going to increase the fifth stitch. So we are going to work one double crochet for four times and two double crochet in the fifth stitch. So work one double crochet, first one, one double crochet, up 
again into the next stitch we are going to work one double crochet again into the next stitch we are going to work one double crochet so we have up one double crochet for four times into the next stitch we are going to work two double crochet increase so first double crochet increase and into the same stitch we are going to work the second double crochet so this is the pattern for the round 5 repeat the same pattern throughout the round I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we have completed our round 5 for the back loop. There will be 72 double crochets. We are going to remove the marker and work the slip stitch in the front loop and place the marker in the back loop. So we have placed the marker in the back loop and we are going to slip stitch in the front loop. After slip stitching we are going to work for the round 6 into the front loop. So begin with the chain 2 and work 1 double crochet. And into the next front loop we are going to work 1 double crochet. And into the next loop we are going to work 2 double crochet increase. So first double crochet increase. And into the same space. We are going to work the second double crochet. Again into the next loop work the first double crochet. And into the same front loop we are going to work the second double crochet. Again into the next loop work one double crochet. Again in the next front loop work one double crochet. Chain 2 and a slip stitch. And this will be our first petal in this round. So from the next petal we are going to repeat the same pattern. So into the next front loop work a slip stitch and work a chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same space. That is into the front loop. And into the next loop work 1 double crochet. And into the next loop work 2 double crochet. And into the next loop work 2 double crochet. And into the next loop work 1 double crochet. And into the next loop work 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. So in this round we will be working the same pattern throughout the round up to the petal 12. So again we are going to work the next petal. So begin with a slip stitch and work a chain 2 and 1 double crochet in same front loop. Into the next loop work 1 double crochet and into the next loop work 2 double crochet increase. So into the same loop work 2 double crochet and into the next loop work 2 double crochet into the next loop work 1 double crochet. Again in the next loop of 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. So this will be our petal 3. So repeat the same pattern throughout the round 6. In the friend loop, I will be meeting you in the end of the round 6. Now we are in the end of the round 6. For the friend loop, there will be 12 petals. Now we are going to slip stitch. So remove the marker and work a slip stitch in the back loop. And 
After slip stitching, we are going to work in the back loop of the round 6. So begin with the chain 2 and work 1 double crochet in same loop. After completing the double crochet, place marker in top of the double crochet. From the next loop, we are going to work 1 double crochet for 4 times. So into the next back loop, we are going to work 1 double crochet. Again into the next loop or 1 double crochet. Again in the next loop or 1 double crochet. Again in the next loop or 1 double crochet. So now we have completed working 1 double crochet for 4 times into the next stitch that is 6th stitch we are going to work 2 double crochet increase. So first double crochet increase and into the same loop we are going to work the second double crochet increase. So 5 times 1 double crochet and into the 6th stitch we are going to work double crochet increase. So we are going to work 1 double crochet for 5 times. So we are going to work 1 double crochet into the next loop. And again into the next loop work 1 double crochet. Again into the next loop work 1 double crochet. Again in the next loop work 1 double crochet. Again in the next loop of 1 double crochet. So now we have completed 1 double crochet for 5 times. Into the 6th stitch we are going to work 2 double crochet increase. So first double crochet increase. Into the same loop we are going to work the second double crochet increase. So this will be the pattern of the round 6. So repeat the same pattern throughout the round. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 6. Now we have completed the round 6. In the end of the round 6 there will be 72 double crochet in the back loop. Remove the marker and we are going to place the marker in the back loop. And we are going to slip stitch in the front loop. After slip stitching we are going to work into the friend loop. So for the round 7 begin with a chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the same chain space. And into the next friend loop work 1 double crochet. And into the next friend loop work 2 double crochet increase. So into the same loop we are going to work 2 double crochet. This will be our first double crochet into the same loop. The second double crochet again into the next loop work one double crochet into the next loop work two double crochet again into the next loop work one double crochet again in the next loop Work 1 double crochet, chain 2 and a slip stitch. So this will be our first petal in this round. Now we are going to work the second petal. So slip stitch into the next loop and work a chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the same front loop. Again into the next loop or 1 double crochet. Again into the next loop or 2 double crochet increase. So first double crochet increase. And into the same friend loop or the second double crochet increase. Again into the next friend loop or 1 double crochet. Again into the next petal or 2 double crochet increase. 
so first double crochet increase and into the same space of the second double crochet increase again into the next loop of one double crochet again into the next loop of one double crochet chain 2 and a slip stitch so we are going to repeat the same pattern throughout the round so this will be our petal 2 so we are going to repeat the petal 2 for the round 7 so repeat the same pattern throughout the round now we are in the end of the round 7 there will be 12 petals in this round now we are going to slip stitch in the back loop so remove the marker and work a slip stitch after slip stitching we are going to work into the back loop so begin with the chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the same loop and place marker in top of the double crochet from the next loop we are going to work one double crochet for five times so into the next back loop work one double crochet and again into the next loop work one double crochet again into the next loop work one double crochet again into the next loop work one double crochet again into the next loop of one double crochet so now we have worked one double crochet for five times for the seventh stitch we are going to work two double crochet increase so we have worked one double crochet for five times and into the seventh stitch we are going to work an increase again we are going to work one double crochet for six times so this will be our first double crochet one so one double crochet for the second time one double crochet for third time one double crochet for fourth time one double crochet for fifth time and one double crochet for six so we have worked one double crochet for six times and into the seventh loop we are going to work two double crochet increase so repeat the same pattern throughout the round seven i will be meeting you in the end of the round seven now we are in the end of the round seven there will be 84 double crochet now we are going to remove the marker and work a slip stitch in this round we are going to slip stitch through the chain so here our flower end so the circumference of the flower is 19.5 cm now we are going to work for the joining so for the round 8 begin with a chain 2 and work one half double crochet in same back loop and place marker in top of the half double crochet after placing the marker from the next back loop of one half double crochet all along the stitches so we are going to leave the space for the opening for the bag and going to place the marker so from the first marker count the petals and leave the space for the opening and place the next marker in the next chain 
so work one half double crochet until you reach the marker now we have completed our working our one half double crochet now remove the marker and work one half double crochet in the back loop after working one half double crochet we are going to work a chain one and cut the extra yarn out After cutting the extra yarn, place the marker in the last chain. After placing the marker, we are going to work for the handle. So from the marker, count 4 chains and leave the 4 chain. In the 5th chain, place marker on both the side. Now we have placed our marker. Take a yarn and make a slip knot and insert into the chain where we have placed the marker so remove the marker and we are going to insert into the chain and we are going to work 100 chains so if you want a long handle increase the chain count so we are going to work 100 chain After completing the chain, we are going to insert in the next marker chain. So remove the next marker and we are going to work a slip stitch. After slip stitching, we should check whether the chain are twisted and we are going to slip stitch in the next two chains. After slip stitching the two chains, turn it and we are going to work one half double crochet all along the chains. So turn and we are going to work one half double crochet in 100 chains. So into the first chain, Work one half double crochet into the next chain. Work one half double crochet like this. Continue working one half double crochet until you reach the hundredth chain. Now we have completed our one half double crochet in chains. So here we are going to slip stitch in two chains. After slip stitching, work a chain one and cut the extra yarn. So one side of our bag is ready. We are going to work the similar pattern for one more piece. After completing both the pieces, we are going to join both the pieces by making a single crochet. So we are going to remove the marker. Before removing the marker, we are going to take a new yarn by making a slip knot. After making the slip knot, remove the marker and we are going to insert the needle through the chain where the marker has been placed and we are going to pull the slip knot through the chains and we are going to make a chain one and one single crochet in same chain space after completing the single crochet we are going to insert the hook into the next chain in both the pieces so we are going to insert the hook in the first piece and insert the hook in the next chain in the next piece and we are going to make single crochet after working the single crochet again we are continuing the same pattern 
that is insert the hook in the first chain in the first piece and insert the hook in the next chain in the second piece and make a single crochet continue the same pattern throughout the round i will be meeting you in the end of the joining Now we have reached our end by making single crochet again in the last loop again in the last chain we are going to insert the hook in both the chain and we are going to work single crochet and now we are going to remove the marker and going to work single crochet in both the chains after completing the single crochet we are going to work a chain one and cut cut the extra yarn out now we are going to turn the bag so here our bag ends we are going to weave in all the extra yarns so friends i hope you really like this video if you are new to my video like my channel and subscribe it and give a bell icon for the notification thanks for watching again i will be meeting you in a new video until then take care and bye bye